So yeah. Cosmo did an article, the, the magazine Cosmopolitan, and they interviewed a, a panel of 12 different women. They asked them a series of questions, uh, and these, all these women provided for their man. And these were the most common responses that the women said about supporting their man. They said that they felt an actual po power dynamic shift mm -hmm. going from the man to the female as the power player. They said there was a high level of stress that the men were constantly seeking assurance from their woman. Baby, is it okay? Are we okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. They said that was very unattractive. She started paying, and the more she started paying, somehow the dudes lost drive and got lazy. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And ultimately, the woman lost respect, and at the end... Uh, they ended the relationship with their man. Mm -hmm. So the concept of the woman being the provider in today's society, I think four out of ten women in relationships are the breadwinners in relationships. Correct. That's correct. So weird dynamic. So rule number one of these three things that a man has to do in order to be a man, to be the provider. Okay, or your woman is going to leave you. Yeah. Um, speaking of a woman who is looking for a provider, Natalia, let's play <laughs> this clip. Uh, I, do you want to play the whole thing? Is this um, it's a minute long. You want me to? I play the whole thing okay. and then we'll do it at the end. We'll weigh in at the end. Okay. So here's a clip. I'm young, hard work. Uh, hold on, hold on. Sorry. Let's get this on the screen. Yeah. Deli, Andres, here's this girl. If we can widen the screen, here's a woman. Let me tee this up. Oh, she here's a woman awesome. who clearly is looking for a provider in her life. This is via our friend Red Pill Ricky. Go ahead. Working is not a compliment. But no, I'm just saying that even as a housewife, you have to work. I work so I can buy shit, and that's it. Oh my God. That's the only Stop reason why us. I work. Okay, but that's the reason everybody works, so they can <laughs> buy shit. Why are you driving a truck right now instead of being some, instead of working for your husband and being a wife? My mom didn't do her motherfucking job and create generational wealth for me, so now I gotta work. I can understand that, but that's not your mother's job. It's your job to go out and create a life for yourself. You fell for the same trick everyone else falls for, to be an independent woman and go out here and work instead of being a wife and working for your husband. That's, That's what right. you should have done. Stop being fucking rude. Stop being rude. Stop it. <laughs> okay, look, I'm not trying to be rude, but what is wrong with you right now? I gotta cook. I gotta clean. I gotta work. I gotta do my own hair. Jesus, where is it in? I'll come get you, but you gotta calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Come get me. Oh I don't want to work. I'm tired. Oh my God. How many women oh my God. do you think low key, they're not verbally saying it, but feel that? How many women are like, I don't want to work. Come get me, husband. What do you think, Linda? I think like 90% of them. And there's 90% of women yeah, think, think like that. I think a lot of them. Um, you know, there's a trend on TikTok right now if, for the TikTokers of girls driving to their corporate job. You can tell they're like, you know, younger, maybe like in their 20s, 30s, and they're like crying, right? So they're like, I don't want to do this anymore. Like, I'm tired of this. I just want to be soft. And like, this is terrible. And so, and I've seen a couple of those. And when, when Ali was here last week with us on the show on, on my podcast, we talked about it because I was, I was in corporate before and I hated it. And I say it now and I say that just women don't belong in corporate. And people get mad and I get hate for it. But the reality is that there's, you know, you start cheating, there's cheating going on, especially if you're obviously mixing genders, which most jobs do. Uh, we talked about it earlier as well. They use women for sales because of their sexuality, because they look good. And then, you know, more situations happen. So I think most women, um, given the situation if their man was, you know, high value and said, stay home, mm -hmm. you know, I'll be the provided. All you have to do is cook clean, take care of the kids. They'll be happy. I disagree with that a thousand percent. You, know? you do disagree, I disagree with what with Linda's her. saying? Yeah, I, li I like you though, Linda. Thank you. But yeah. the last but thing that I will say, okay, I'm sorry, the last thing that I will say is that uh, in my girlfriends, right, the ones that are, uh, that let the man take care of the, uh, the bills and everything and stay home with the kids, they're a lot less stressed and happier than mm -hmm. the other ones that I know who have to work because they just simply like it's it's mm -hmm. it, like you said like people are living paycheck to paycheck yeah. yeah and they're stressed out and they're like I just got out of work and I have to pick up my kid and then I have to do this and then I have to do that it's like 
they never get a break. You know, right. yeah. We're exhausted. I mean, look, look how exhausted and stressed out. Literally, her hair like terrible. Go no, get like, me. I'm good. Janelle, yeah. why I, do you disagree with Linda? Because I, I thought that you would fully agree with what no, she had to say. Because of what she said at the very end. What was that? Um, women like women today like stress. You know why? Because they're men. Men love stress. It's cortisol. They want to do better. They want to climb to the top of the ladder. They want to be the one you got. You guys don't get affirmation ever. You have to prove yourself. You have to be the best in the best, have the biggest body, the biggest dick, the biggest credit card, and still be emotional and tell your girl she looks great. But you have to be able to protect your family and kill someone if they come in. Mm -hmm. So that's the amount of stress. And you have to get an erection. And you have to not be stressed out to get an erection. So it's I like, know that's not a problem okay, for the men on this not a, That's not a problem. So. so the bottom line is, I don't think that that's most women. I think that that is a lot of women, but not most. Okay. Because women don't want to submit. Uh, they don't want to surrender. They don't want to make a sandwich, let alone cook a freaking pasta like dish. Like a real They meal. don't want to clean. They don't want to, women, even when they have children today, women are, and I am hating on these women, I'm sorry. The best thing for your child is to have your child vaginally. Yeah. Women are scheduling cesareans. Mm -hmm. They are not breastfeeding their children. I breast my son, fed my son until he was seven. Not all the time, but till he was seven. My son is so emotionally astute, it's, it's crazy. And you they don't want to look good either. And, it's really weird. And, and, and so you talk about women don't want to do the hard. I, I'm going to say it's hard. I'm not going to say, oh, it's easy having my kid natural without drugs and selflessly having a child hang from my boobs for freaking almost a decade. Like, that is selfless. Women are selfish today. Mm. They want to have the biggest ass with the biggest lips, the longest weave, make all the money, buy their Louboutins, buy their Chanel, and then get a man to kiss their ass. Yep. They don't want to do be a housewife. No yep. freaking way. Yeah, no way. True. This, this is clearly right. becoming more and more right. of a problem in society. <laughs> I just threw the number out there because no, I'm like, I know I what you're saying, no, but, but, but I agree with so, her. So yeah. you just went from 90% of women yeah. want to be taken care of and right. now that after her uh, examples, mm -hmm. what do you think the actual number is? It's Versus so there's a want and what you'll actually do, right? Yeah. I think that's what Janelle was basically saying. Also society, They're saying this, they're say yeah. but also when it comes to reality. Is encouraging it. Love. Right. Yeah. So you have to go with the collective conscious sub uh, programming, television, media, Beyonce, we run the world, Cardi B, all these songs are like, yeah. I don't need no man. Madonna. I don't need no. <laughs> Everything mm -hmm. is like, you don't need a man. Mm -hmm. They're literally pushing sperm banks. They're doing everything they can do. These giant dildos that fuck up women's Ooh. yonis and make it impossible for them to orgasm, make it impossible for a man to have a fighting chance to make his woman orgasm. Okay, so let me ask you this. Let's get to the heart of the matter. All right. We just, you went from 90% to holy shit, let me reverse course. Now yeah. it's probably 90% the other way. If most women are thinking like this, like saying one thing, come get me, come get me, I, I need a man. But in reality, they're like, no, Actions I'm my own woman, matching. I'm an independent woman, everything you just said. How should men operate and what should they say and or do to convince these women to be more traditional and because that will actually make them happier in the end, mm. not in the short term with their Louis Vuittons yeah. and shopping. What do you think? I said, we're just hurt. Like, you know, as I was sitting here contemplating you know, would I surrender, right, to a man? Mm -hmm. I had this realization, I've never had that option. Mm -hmm. That's well, never been a thing. Mm -hmm. I've had to survive my whole life. Yeah. You know, like even thinking about that, like that scares me. You're like, what do you mean? Like I would trust somebody who would just take care of me because I've had so That's many- That's very honest of you, yeah. I'll give you that. Think, I mean, like I've, I've never had that experience. Yeah. So I've always had to survive and do my own, take care of myself and, you know, make money. And I've had many times in my life crying, and like, God, like, please come save me. I don't know how I'm going to pay for everything. I, my parents don't have money. I don't know how I'm going to take care of it, you know, to finally get to a place where we're actually starting to do well, you know? And so now I'm like, I finally got this. Now I don't want to lose it because I worked so They're hard to get valid here. Point. You know? Everything you're saying is yeah. very valid and very honest. And I appreciate that, that you're saying that because I'm sure a lot of women feel that way. And yeah. maybe a lot of women haven't gone through trauma, but they've also been told by their dads, you know, and, and society, like you're a princess, you should be taken care of this and that you shouldn't have to lift a finger, this and that. Right. And so then when they get into these corporate jobs and they're making all this money, then a man comes along and you're supposed to say like, I'm being devil's advocate here. Oh, okay. I'm going to drop this. So yeah. I get it that they're not, we're not conditioning women to be submissive. Yeah. That's so, part so, of it. It's societal. Let, let, right. By the way, thank you for being open, but let's stay on the, the actual question. What can a man say or do to earn that role? Make her feel safe. 
Make her feel safe. Yeah. Okay. And uh, how? go You're deeper. How, how can he make yeah. you feel safe? Especially when you first start dating. Because I think obviously we, we, we all admit once you get married to a woman, like now the, the dynamics that's changed. But to get to that point for a woman to submit yeah. and, and feel safe, it, it's a slow burn. Like yeah, it doesn't so you're just financially happen. safe, yep. emotionally safe, spiritually safe, right? Like physically can, safe. Physically safe. Okay. So I think financial How do you convey first. safety to a woman in the first month of dating. I'll give you some practical examples. Yeah, yeah. Go like, ahead. And maybe the women here can judge. Uh, and yeah, this. and then I'll because uh, this, this would be good. Yes. Yeah, a good practical test. So uh, had this had this situation recently. Went on a first date with a woman who's a very entrepreneurial woman. You know, runs a very successful business. And the first date, I told her, obviously, meet me here, dress like this. Mm-hmm. I ordered her drinks. I ordered her food. I love that. I took care of Okay, bam, immediately. Mm-hmm. I took care of it all. And this is a woman who's extremely masculine yeah. in her everyday life. She's in charge of people. She manages a whole business. So she has to be on edge and responsible her whole daily life. I come along and I relieve that responsibility from her during this t- window of time that we're mm-hmm. together. That allows her, in my experience, maybe you disagree, maybe you agree, but that allows her to get into her feminine and to be submissive mm-hmm. around me. And that's, it's not that complicated it's for a man to come in and yeah. just confidently take control mm-hmm. respectfully. But most men won't go there, Sterling. I talked about this, my, my really good first date that I had, where he had everything planned out. He, and he wasn't even from my city. He drove like, you know, an hour and a half, two hours, and he had the date planned out. He told me what to wear, same thing. Ordered for me, even though I didn't, like, I, I didn't drink, but he still ordered it for me. He took me to an activity that I wasn't, I wasn't a fan of, but the fact that he planned everything, mm-hmm. and it was all like, I didn't have to do anything. I told him, I was like, I don't want to have to think. And well, so I think that, that uh, Sterling's example is, is a great I, one. By the way, fully agree with Sterling, but let's go deeper. Yeah. That's a first date. That's first date. That's, okay, the, now you're dating a month, two months, three months, six months. How can, because women, essentially what we're talking about is a woman has to just like ah, let go and be like, mm-hmm. all right, this dude's got me. Trust yeah. you. Which is very, very hard. difficult very for hard. a woman in today's society to do. Correct. To say, hold on, you actually want to take care of me? Why would I trust you? Mm-hmm. Oh my God, you make me feel safe. You make me feel secure. Can I trust you? I don't know. Never felt this way. This is crazy. Oh my God, how do I know you're not going to leave me? A woman is going through all sort of a mixture yeah. of emotions. I'll, I'll answer that question yeah, too. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Paint a picture of the future. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you don't have a vision, if you don't have a plan, where she's going to be, like, where's this going? Yes. What 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 is what's don't what waste is it want her from time. me? It's, she feels like it's a waste of time because right. mm-hmm. you haven't, as a man, you haven't clearly painted a picture of the future of you two together mm-hmm. and what's yeah. what's going to be yeah. happening. And okay. also, create. By the way, it's uh, such a great point, and this yeah. is kind of what we talked about: is that being a provider or the or the breadwinner of the family is not just financial. It's vision leadership and having a plan and a purpose that you're getting her on board with Mm -hmm. because like even i talked with sterling about his sorry to bring it up but about the girls and i'm like how do you get all these women on board like this is and they're different age different backgrounds and stuff but he has a bare like we've talked about it all day he has a very clear-cut purpose of what he's going to do where he's going to live how many children he's going to have how he's going to raise like he has a fucking like it's in mm-hmm. graphs. He knows what's up. And women want to feel safe, but they want to surrender and submit to someone who's present, who's acting like Shiva. Mm-hmm. That's why I say like and then you have to also connect with them. This one is a little more esoteric, but I believe it's very strong. You have to connect with them um, emotionally and spiritually in a sexual way. Mm-hmm. That's why the presence activity like mm-hmm. yab yam, eye gazing, soul, all these things that I do at my retreats. That's, there's a reason it works because it's when a man sits with a woman and just shows that like, he's basically sitting and saying, I'm God and you're my goddess and we're not going to say anything. Well, we're going to do this activity. So get, yeah. like, don't, don't okay. waste the good stuff for, okay. this right, for right. right now. Like we're going right, to get right. there. So let me just uh, wrap up this. Cause we talked about the three elements of being a man, uh, one being a provider. So let's wrap this up. We'll move on to number two. Um, the, the, um, the, the, the concept of being the provider, um, the man's painting this picture. Now put yourself in the men's shoes out there. Obviously, if you're a millionaire and things are great in life and it's like, get on my team, awesome, I've made my money, I've found my career, 
awesome, get on board with me. Okay, mm -hmm. oftentimes those men have plenty of options. They do. So they're choosing the woman to get on board with them. Let's say you're the guy out there who's making 50 grand. You're 26 years old. You're into this girl. Let's say you're 30 years old. You're making 80 grand, 100 grand. You're still not ready to yeah. officially, officially take care of your woman that she's just going to leave her job because women want a lifestyle Stability. as well. Security. What can the man say to the woman to at least have her buy into the vision, even if he's not there yet? Mm. I, I would say, are you going around? Yeah, or? go. I would say that, like, I know this sounds bad, but you really have to, you have to fake it till you make it. If you're in that position, <laughs> you do. Cause I've had this very experience happen. I was telling Sterling where my ex is just not there. He's this, the demographic you actually described money, age, everything. And he just simply said, listen, I can't give you what you want for at least two or three more years. I can't, but I'm not like, yes, obviously, you know, I date casually a few girls here and there. He's 26, right? It'd be weird if he didn't, but he's like, there is no one else in the runnings to be wife and mother of my children. You would, you are that person. I'm like, mm, okay. And whether it's a smoke, he's blowing smoke at my ass or not, you know, and he So did. you're encouraging the man to lie to you? No, I, I don't <laughs> think he's lying. I think, I think he has every intent. He means that he's yeah. like, there's no one else. There's no one else. You are that woman. I'm just, I can't provide yet. I can't provide for you. Okay. So you so appreciate the honesty. I, but I also think that he should make her inclusive into, even if he doesn't have the money, like, I want to build this with you, baby. Mm. Like give me yeah. time. Like he can't ask a woman for time. He can, and she can either say yes, or she can say no, okay. that's on her. But if you don't have the resources like you guys have, you can honestly say like, and I hope they're being honest, but I would think they would. Like, I don't have this yet, but in the next five years, you're in my life plan. I see myself, I see you being the mother of my children. I da 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 da. And like, I want you to stand beside me and da da da, all these things, build with me, use yeah. team, we, us, future, mother, children, things like that. Now a woman can decide at that point what she wants to do with it. She, that's her gamble. And the older she is, that is a gamble on her. Got it. Right? And she doesn't have children. Yeah, I like what you said, using the terms like we, us, Team, ours. Yeah. Team, mother, okay. things like that. What do you think a man can do to get his woman to buy in to his vision, even if he's not where he wants to be yet? Ambition is sexy. Ambition is sexy. Like you can have a man that's a multimillionaire that loses everything and has to rebuild it. Right? It's the <laughs> mindset. Today, right? We'll see. It's the mindset. It's the, like, I'm going to go after, I'm going to go get it, and I want you to be a part of it. Exactly, the mm -hmm. team. That's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Linda, final thought. Um, I pretty much agree with both of them. Um, I think I would add that, as women, we are intuitive. We have intuition. And if you start getting, like, that bad vibe where this guy's, like, lying to me or he's bullshitting or just, like, blowing smoke on my ass, like, you're going to know that. Like, you're supposed to know that. Cause you're, yeah. And that's, that's pretty much how... I live my life too, not just with men, but in general, like you just have that feeling like this is just not it. So use your intuition, like tap into like that feminine energy and you'll be able to know like, okay, this is not the guy, like I'm wasting my mm -hmm. time because sometimes you could have that man that uh, maybe has the motivation, the provider has the money, all that stuff, but maybe he's just wasting, he's still on his fuckboy stage. Mm -hmm. There's like 50 year olds still on their fuckboy stage. True. That's true. So intuition, I think it's a big well, one. You're, for women. you're officially talking to uh, a man who's graduating from fuckboy phase to, to a grown up. Let's Relax. go. If I can do it, you gentlemen can do it out there as well. <laughs> Give me some time, all right, ladies? You're gotta fake it till you make it, I'm as proud a of famous you. woman once said. It, all right, let's move on to uh, from provider to protector. Before we do, Natalia, is there anything we should know? Anything going on over there? Are people responding to chats? Are people giving numbers on how much they want to pay? Drive some traffic our way. What you got, Nat? Yes, so thank you all for being in the chat and our polls today. I actually want to read the poll that you wanted to give, um, which was what percent of men um, should pay in their relationship? I put 25% or less, 50%, 75%, and 100%. So we have 9% said 25 or less that men should pay. Uh, we have 11% say that they should pay 50%. 75% uh, takes the win that men should pay in a relationship. And then 100% is 39%. So it's really close between a man paying 75% or 100% in the relationship, okay. which I thought was interesting. So the people in the poll okay? basically say that the man should be shouldering 
75. The majority of the, lo the load, 75% yeah. or more. Correct. Okay, this I goes to what I say. I saw some 80s and 75, yeah. but it's more 75. This is very 80. much on par with my 80-20 rule. Yes. Mm -hmm. right. Like, if I can't take care of the big stuff, yeah. I can tell you right now, because I have paid for women's lifestyle, I've lived with women, I've almost been married, engaged, I've done all this, right? There's nothing more annoying for a man than to pay the rent, pay the car bills, pay your insurance, do everything. And now, now on top of it all, I got to pay for your hair, nails, and shopping. Mm, it gets yeah. very annoying. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying I won't do it, but when you're like, hey, my hair costs $600, it's like, holy <laughs> shit, and it's every month. <laughs> it's like, my God, can you just go to my guy that fades me up for $25? Doesn't work that like. way. So gentlemen, the for the gentlemen in the chat that are saying 80, 100%, if you've never lived with a woman and paid for one of these expenses, mm -hmm. just be careful what you wish for. Because if you're the guy saying 100% and you have a hot ass girl that's living for you, be prepared to pay Correct. for ladies' expenses. But then that means you think it's yeah. you don't think it costs money to look this good? No, yes. gentlemen, it ain't easy it out is. there. So if you like that clip, click right here to watch another. Or if you want to watch the entire Sauce Cast, click right here.